Hello and welcome to the first in a series of special episodes where we take a look at the challenges and benefits of assembling a team of a single colour. And we're going to kick this off with the Mystics. Just like a regular investigator spotlight, let's take a look at the stats. And going from left to right, we start off with the heavy hitter, Willpower. There are two investigators with five in Willpower and two with four in Willpower. Would you expect anything less? Next up is Intellect. Two twos, a three and a four. So don't discount Marie as a good parlayer or a good manual clue gatherer. Combat is definitely the weakest, with a pair of threes, a two, and a one. And you don't see ones very often. And with agility, it's almost all threes, with only Jim letting the side down with two. First off, not everyone can take the full range of Mystic cards. Marie Lambeau can only take up to level 3 purple cards, so that means no grotesque statue for her. But luckily, upgraded Rite of Seeking, Ward of Protection and Maximum Level Shriveling have all got the spell trait, so she isn't missing out. Out of class, our biggest pool comes from Agnes, who can take survivor cards of up to level 2. Which is handy for the upgraded Peter Silvestri and possibly Stroke of Luck. But no will to survive, sadly. Jim, being a Dunwich Investigator, can take 5 level 0 from any class, and Marie can take 5 level 0 from Seeker and or Survivor. And Akachi can take cards with charges up to level 4. So with the release of the Black Stars Rise and the non-Mystic spells, both of these will be getting the option for more colour. They also both have access to Occult Cards level 0, which at the moment is only the Archaic Glyphs level 0. So Rogue, Guardian and some Seeker cards are definitely in short supply. Everyone has an ability that affects only themselves, so there isn't much to talk about here. Sadly, Marie only checks for Doom on her own cards. That'd be far too helpful. Agnes's heirloom only reacts to her spells. If there was a copy of Teamwork, you could potentially give your assets to Akachi to allow her to use Spirit Speaker to take resources or return them to their owner's hand. But it is Jim and his magic horn whose horror healing is really going to come in handy in this party of mystics. Let's hope he doesn't get analysis paralysis with all the choice. And make sure you position him well for maximum coverage. Marie's mystifying song is probably going to be invaluable in such a doom prone team too. Again, the Mystics are quite a self-centred lot, with Jim and Agnes only really suffering themselves. Although, watch out for the Doom from Dark Memory. Both the Angered Spirits and Baron Samedi go into the Threat area, so can be triggered by the other Investigators. And with so many spells in play, the Angered Spirits can be made to shove off in the same round it comes into play. The Baron takes a bit longer to go away, and while he is in play, make sure to isolate Marie from the other Investigators, as soaking damage is a Mystic weak point. The Mystics aren't really known for their allies. It wasn't till Undimensioned and Unseen that they even got a second ally. The total purple pool is three, and two of these are unique, meaning there is plenty to fight over. And they all accumulate doom. Plus, they are terrible at absorbing damage. If any party needed a Brother Xavier, then this would be it. But even at a mere level one, he is totally out of reach. The only neutral ally is the Red Gloved Man, and he takes a lot of XP. But because he disappears after a round, every investigator can have one in their deck, and his uniqueness won't be a problem. Out of class, the Big Man on campus would be a popular choice for anyone, but should probably go to Agnes, as her ability will see her taking horror frequently, and she's the only mystic who can utilise the upgraded version. Madame Lebranche could be an option for Jim or Marie. And Jim should definitely consider a guard dog for some quick damage absorption. Leo DeLuca is only available to Jim, and he's way too expensive for a Mystic deck. If you are going to be using Marie and her four intellect to gather clues manually, consider a Dr. Milan Christopher for the intellect bonus and resource boost. Or possibly Dr. Egon Spengler, who has the most efficient absorption to cost ratio of any level zero ally. Doom. This is going to be a real problem. Having even a single mystic in your party is a cause for concern, with their doom laden allies and their blood packs. Particularly Marie Lambeau, who needs doom in order to use her ability. Having four arcane initiates enter play on the same turn can be deadly. 
You really are going to have to work as a team and coordinate well to manage your Doom build-up. Make sure you make the most of the Witching Hour, which is the turn before the agenda advances, to bring Doom into play. And be very wary of any scenario with Acolytes or similar Doom generating enemies. Marie's mystifying song can stall things for a round, but everyone should consider taking a copy or two of Moonlight Ritual. This is a cornerstone of the game, and a challenge that all single colour parties must grapple with. Lucky that all the mystics can take Drawn to the Flame and Right of Seeking. Three of them can take Look What I Found, Lantern or Newspaper. And two can take cards like Art Student, Dr Milan or other helpful seeker cards. Not to mention the trusty flashlight. And don't forget that Intellect is used for Parlay as well. Mystics aren't combat ready. They rely on bringing out cards like Shriveling or Song of the Dead to convert their willpower to offence. But in the meantime, they all have some reasonable evasion scores, particularly Agnes when she has Peter out, and access to Hypnotic Gaze or Blinding Light. Sanity-wise, they have plenty of their own. All their allies favour it, and they have cards like Fearless, Clarity of Mind, and Moment of Respite that can help them heal it. Health is their Achilles heel. Everyone needs a bulletproof vest as soon as possible, and those that can should maybe consider a leather coat in the meantime. As Jim is the only one with access to Guardian cards, he should probably use all five for things like First Aid, Emergency Aid, Dodge, or best of all, True Grit. This would be a good time to talk about Painkillers, which can be a good mitigation for the lack of damage absorption in the Mystic class. But remember, these don't heal damage, they merely displace it into horror. And with all the Ward of Protections and backfiring spells, Mystics have quite enough horror, thank you very much, as it is. So choose when is best to deliberately add horror to yourself, which for Agnes is probably as often as possible. This is a mystic strong point, not only with the huge willpower scores, but with cards such as Elithograam, Scrying and Ward of Protection, they can be very selective about the cards they face and who deals with them. This is invaluable for cards like Drawn to the Flame and Delve Too Deep to operate successfully. This is another choke point for Mystics. Their spells tend to be the most expensive cards in the game, and there won't be many copies of Teamwork or Stand Together to help them out. Consider Dr Milan, Christopher for Jim or Marie as Right of Seeking counts as investigating. Uncage the Soul helps particularly, as the double willpower icons will be helpful to any investigator, plus our chemical transmutation. And Forbidden Knowledge should be in every Agnes deck anyway. The Mystic Skill Booster is Arcane Studies, but you might not have enough free resources to power it. There will be plenty of willpower tests going on with all that spell casting, and everyone needs bonuses to clue gathering or parlaying. Potentially you can have 8 of these in a Mystic Party. 8 extra XP each scenario is a game breaker, but that is potentially 32 extra encounter card draws. Even using scrying and well timed resignations, this can still be a tricky card to time. Everyone but Marie can take this, so they definitely should, particularly with Akachi's extra charges and ability to recharge. Speaking of recharging, this is extremely valuable in a Mystic only party, as there are always going to be things that need recharging and everyone will love you for it. This is an extremely potent card, but also a potential self-destruct button if more than one Mystic has it. Careful timing and good communication is needed here. Everyone should be packing fearless, as there will rarely be a time when you can't find a test to commit it to, and it heals horror without using up an action like Clarity of Mind does. It is a shame that it won't affect other investigators' cards, but as your combat and clue gathering will probably be all spell based, then this is a real boost. And an extra arcane slot will be very handy, particularly for Akachi as her spells last that little bit longer. Pretty much every spell you have will be wanting willpower tests, so it's not like you won't get value out of it. It isn't unique, so everyone can have one, and it absorbs two horror, which is just what you want for things like Ward of Protection. But it is Jim... But it is Jim and his magic horn who's... Ho but it's Jim and his magic... <laughs> ah, dear. Who writes this stuff? Doom!